Hey there, I'm Richard Eisenbeiss, and this is a preview of The Outcast, episode 14. The Outcast is a podcast done by myself and two other Japanese-speaking gamers living here, in Japan. On this episode, we talk about the best and worst games of 2010, and are once again joined by Wired in One Up's Dan Fight. As a preview, here's our talk on my pick for the worst game of the year, Dark Star. If you like what you hear, please download the full episode over at theoutcastpodcast.blogspot.com or click the link in the information box below. Peace. All right. Well, for me, I, I encountered this just a few days ago, so maybe it doesn't even count as a 2010. But I have now encountered Dark Star. Mm, now, I've done... now I, I, you know, I earlier championed point-and-click adventures. Mm. Now I'm going to become the strongest detractor of point and click adventures okay. because I played Dark Star and I didn't. I don't know, actually, let me clarify. I didn't play Dark Star. You played it in spirit. I played it in spirit, and by that I mean I watched the uh, Spoony one, uh, Noah, over on the Spoony Experiment. I watched him play the whole game through. Now its selling point for this thing is uh, it's a it's basically a sci-fi mist esque mm-hmm. game mm-hmm. where you're an amnesiac guy on a spaceship. Amnesiatic? Amnesiac. Amnesiac guy on a spaceship. Suffering from amnesia. You're suffering from amnesia. And uh, you're brought, go, trying to solve the mystery. Why are you on the spaceship? What's going on? And, you know, you find a whole bunch of log entries and journal entries. They're big selling thing. 13 hours of video. 13 hours of the most mm. boring video ever filmed. But, okay, fine. Yes, you have 13 hours of possible video to watch. Mm-hmm. It should be pointed out that this is this is all for a game that was, in fact, released in 2010. In, in 2010. November 2010. Yeah. Its graphics look like... Mist quality? It's like nineteen nine late 1990s sci-fi. Oh, gosh. Earlier. Earlier. It's, it's worse than that. It's really bad 3D made by, like... College students, kind of thing. It's like something out of a time capsule. It's it's ridiculous. I watched a little bit. I eventually stopped. I'm like, I can't watch this anymore. I, 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 I <laughs> my just, eyes, funny, they but... burn. Oh no, they no, burn. you have no idea. You yeah. cannot. I, I cannot explain in words how bad this game is. Okay, but so went through the whole thing. It's but it's it's secret selling point. The thing that has made it even like made anyone buy it is that it stars most of the cast from Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yeah, it has. TV's Frank, Dr. Forrester, Joel, um, and... Mary Jo Peel. Mary Jo Peel, uh, Pearl Forrester as well. It doesn't have Mike, it doesn't have the new Tom, the new Crow, the new... Well, uh, yeah, Bill Corbett was not when that was made. And and thank goodness, let me put it that way, but it's played completely serious. There's no joking, no real anything like that. It, It is just bad. You're just wandering around a ship, pushing buttons... When you get to the point where you know you're, you kind of have this inescapable situation, and when you finally escape, you're just sitting there like, "All right, I must be dead, right?" And then left field plot point saves you. It's it's just like Deus Ex Machina the whole game. Okay. There's even a segment, and I have to point this out right before the end of the game. You're able to watch all the official information that your ship is carrying, and one of them was I, and I'm not joking here. Rednecks in space, like Hawaiian t-shirt, hat wearing, Battlestar Galactica fight scenes with rednecks in space. So I, I just gotta what, jump in. Like here. guy talks like Yosemite Sam. Sam, I swear. I just gotta jump in here. I am one of the biggest MST3K Mystery Science 2000 fans on the planet. Uh, for a story for a later podcast, I was once hospitalized in a coma and almost died once because I was laughing so hard because right after surgery. I. The biggest fan That's of the show on the in the world, and I've been. This game was made in like the late nineties, and it, what? Yes, that's yeah. You don't know about this? No, no. Yeah, I have, this no, has I been mean, in development hell for like for, ten, for 10 years. years. Yeah. Oh man, that's that's, that's why that's it looks why. like it the way it does. Oh, I just assumed it was crap. <laughs> it, no, it looks like that because it was made like ten years ago, and like the, the, obviously these game developers don't know what they're doing, and so they spent ten years farting around with a piece of crap game. Well, I've been following this for like 10 years, and I'm a colossal MST3K fan, and when it finally did come out, I, I downloaded it, and and I messed around for like three or four hours. I'm like, you know what? I love these guys to death, but my god, this is an awful, awful game. Um, so it, so what's it on? How do people it's get PC. there? PC. It's only available on I mean, PC. That's fake but, but I do have to say, though, the Red yeah. X. The PC's Redneck? better than we, man. No. Starcraft, Starcraft 2? Are you kidding? Starcraft, Starcraft for you Warcraft. personally. Oh. I would prefer to play... I've played Look, more here. Starcraft in my life. Let, let, me, let me just sum it up this way. Rednecks flying in space. Uh, like, 
that was the highlight of the game. Richard's like that was speechless. the highlight. That was the best part. <laughs> that was the best acted part of the entire game. Like we had a part where, like uh, you know, standard fighter squadrons, you know, getting shot down. And this is this is probably better acting than what I actually heard. Oh no, Lisa! Like that exactly. It was like freaking Tommy Wiseau was sitting there as the vocal <laughs> coach for the entire cast of the game. It was atrocious. I'm glad Don't Mike touch it. Didn't sully his good name by appearing in no this game. No kidding. Because Mike's the, in, in, the superior host. Yes, yeah. I said it. Oh, hi, Dark Star. 